Hey girls, welcome to the party. I decided tonight that I'm going to video myself putting on my nails because they are naked. So we got to get some jams on there. I've already gone through my book and I've decided which ones that I'm going to put on tonight. And actually, I'm taking it back old school. These are the nails I'm going to put on. And these were actually the first nails I ever put on. These are no longer available, but I had an extra sheet. So here we go. This is what a sheet of nail look, nails look like um, when you pull it out of the package. You're only going to use five of these. So what I'm going to do is I always take my sheets and just split them right up the middle and save the other half for another day. So I've halved it now. Once you put jam berries on for a little while, you're going to realize which one of these wraps fits each of your fingers. The first time, you're probably going to have to size it out, and the backing is clear for that reason. So what you're going to do is hold the clear backing up to your nails and size them so that you can decide which wrap is going to fit best. I know that when I put on my jam berries, I use one, two, three, four, and six. So here we go. I'm just going to do a couple. The first thing you want to do, I've already taken my wraps off today that I had on. Um, I want to make sure that my nails are don't have any oil or anything on them. So just take a, some alcohol and just wipe them off. You can also use acetone. It does the same thing. You just want to make sure they're nice and clean before you start. Now, I'm going to take my pair of scissors here and I'm going to cut up the middle of my wraps before I even start. See that? Right? So each, that's going to do eight fingers. I'm going to take this first wrap and I'm going to touch it by the square side where I just cut. I'm going to get my handy dandy little jamberry heater out here. You can totally use a hair dryer. You do not need a handy dandy jamberry heater, but they are handy dandy. Anyway, here we go. So I'm just going to heat my wrap up. And you're going to heat it until it just gets a little bit flexible. And once you do that, you're going to take and you're going to put the wrap right in front of your cuticle. See that? And then I just take in what I call rub, 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 rub. And you're just going to kind of rub it on there for a few, for a few seconds. Get it nice and tight. And then you're going to take your handy dandy jamberry heater. And I'm going to heat it up one more time. Heat is what activates the sticky. So we want to make sure that we're using enough heat to make sure that they're going to get a nice seal. And again, I'm going to rub just a little bit. And when I'm rubbing, I kind of push back my cuticles just a little bit when I'm doing that too. Next, you see I've got lots of excess wrap there. So what I like to do is just take my scissors and cut right above my natural nail so that there's not a lot of excess there. Once you do that, this next part is the most important part of putting on your jamberry wraps. You want to have a file that's a little bit coarse and the way to get the tips to really seal and not lift is to make sure that you're using a downward motion. So all you're going to do is start filing down. And when you do this, you're going to see the tip of that wrap start to curl under and peel off. You want to keep going and don't pick at it. You're going to be so tempted to pick at it. All right, there we go. My jamberry wrap is on. The last step you want to do is heat it one more time with your handy dandy jamberry heater or your hair dryer. So you're going to heat. 
And then I like to take a cuticle pusher and I'm just going to push back on my cuticle and get those sides really nice and pushed down. And there you go, friends. All right, I'll do one more. All right. Again, let's see. I'm going to show you how fast I can do it. It's pretty fast. Eat. Stick. Rub, rub, rub. Nice and long. Rub, rub, rub. A little bit of heat. Rub. You're going to cut off that excess. Take your file. Downward motion. Don't pick at it. I know you want to. Heat and beautiful picture. I like to call this the coloring portion after the kids. Just take in color. And that's it, lazy ladies. You're done. I'll be done with this in about ten minutes. Hope this helped.